Hello dear students, welcome you all to the next lecture of the JC eConnect series of online lectures. In today's lecture, we will be studying about support reactions. So let us first understand what is a support and what is a support reaction. Support can be defined as a medium which offers a reaction as a response to the action transferred to it by various elements which may be in direct or indirect contact with it. The resistance or response offered by the support is termed as support reaction. So to understand this definition in a better way, let us take an animated example. Imagine this to be the table surface or the table top. Now on this table top, I am placing a box which has a weight of W kN. Okay. So now what will this support do? As the box kept on it is an action, as per Newton's law, it will give back a reaction. So if I take the top layer of the support, what is happening there? The weight which we are putting on the surface is the action and as a response to it, what is the table surface offering? A reaction. So now in this case, our table surface is the support. On that support, we have kept a box of W kN weight or W kN load and as we have kept that load on the surface of the table which is a support, it is offering back a reaction of same intensity which is W kN and it becomes a stable system as the support is able to resist the weight of the box. So if we go on increasing this weight, okay, a point will come where the surface may not be able to take that load. What does it mean? Take that load means will not be able to offer equal and opposite reaction and at that time the surface might fail. So this is what is action and reaction with respect to the support. So support is any medium okay, which allows you to transfer load by giving back a reaction. For example now if you are sitting on a chair, the four legs of the chair are the support which are transferring your weight to the ground and ground becomes the support for those four legs which in turn offers a reaction which will be equal to the weight of the chair plus your own weight and you can sit in a single or stable position. Okay, So this is what is support and support reaction. It is basically derived from the action reaction law of Newton which says for every action there should be or there will be an equal and opposite reaction. So now in the previous video question paper itself this question was asked what is support and what is support reaction and the important thing in this will be types of supports. So let us discuss the different types of supports which will come across there are basically four types of supports which are simple supports, roller supports, hinged or pinned supports and fixed supports. Okay, So if you get a question, explain the different types of supports. This has to be your answer. First you have to note down the supports, then you have to explain each support with a suitable sketch. This question comes for 6 to 8 marks and it is one of the favorite questions of the examiner and is asked repeatedly. So now let us start with the discussion of types of supports. So first in this discussion let us take a simple support. A simple support, the simple supports are those which exert reaction perpendicular to the plane of the support. They restrict translation of the body in one direction only but do not restrict rotation. Now you have to understand each term of this 
I'll explain you properly. Please concentrate and try to understand. Now, when a reaction develops, okay, when there is resistance, then only reaction develops. That means, now if we as a teacher, we say you have to do this work. So, many times how will you respond? No. Why? We are restricting or we are resisting. Okay. So, when resistance comes, when then reaction comes. Now, if we say you can submit your assignment anytime you want, there will be no reaction because you are free. Right. So, similar thing comes here. When will be a reaction? When there is a resistance. Now, what is a simple support? A simple support is that type of support which offers resistance only in vertical direction. Okay. It does not offer resistance in horizontal direction nor it offers any resistance against rotation means it can move horizontally freely so no reaction it can rotate freely so no reaction only resistance in, is in which direction vertical direction so what reaction will get a vertical reaction only will get for the simple support okay so this is what is a simple support it is an support in which we get a reaction perpendicular to the plane of the support. Now, if you are able to see here Ra and Rb, those are the reactions which are developed perpendicular to the support. It will not have Ha, Ha means a horizontal reaction will not be there, whereas moment also will not be there as this type of support permits those two. So, if it is permitted means no reaction, if it is restricted means there is a reaction. So, easiest way to present about a simple support is the statement. What it says, again I am repeating. Firstly, what we have to mention, it gives reaction in which direction? In vertical direction only. There is no horizontal and moment reaction because those are permitted. So, remember one thing, if there is a restriction, then there will be a reaction. If there is no restriction, there will be no reaction. Okay. So, simple support is that support which offers restriction or resistance only for the vertical action. Hence, there is a reaction in the vertical direction which you are taking as Ra and Rb. So, on a beam AB, if a load is put vertically, you will get the reaction in the vertical direction itself, but which will be opposite to the action. Okay. So, simple support only how many reactions? Only vertical reactions no horizontal reactions, no restriction for moment. So, now I will show you with the graphics a simple example. Now, these are two of my supports and what I am doing is I am placing an wooden plank on it, right. It is something like your desk which you use in your classroom. So, imagine that only on the two supports a horizontal plank is put. Now, this becomes which type of a support? a simple support. Okay. Here only reaction is offered in vertical direction. Now, next what I will be showing is a typical example, okay. a typical example of a simple support. Now, see these planks. As our Belgam city is becoming so called smart city, this thing you will find in maximum of the lanes. Gutter works are going on or something is done, but when we want to cross, what we use? Some wooden barrier sorry wooden plank or something we use to cross from one side to another. Is it fixed? No, it is just placed. Okay. So, what type of support this becomes? It becomes just a simple support. There is no attachment, there is no fixity, nothing. Okay. And on that what you will do? You cannot dance on it, you will fall down. You can aram say walk from one end to another. So, it takes only the vertical load which is acting downwards. Hence, it will give one reaction which is acting upwards. Now, you can see here in this figure, right, here this point, this plank is placed, okay, and on the other side, on the road, plank is placed, okay. So, off through this, you can walk. So, your load will go down, reaction will come up, getting the point. So, this is just a common sense example. Do not draw this figure in your exam, okay. This is just an example to make yourself clear about what is a simple support. So, next 
type of supports which we will be studying is a roller support. Okay. So, see here the notation will have rollers. Okay. Below the support will have a roller. Roller supports are those supports which exerts reaction perpendicular to the plane of the support. They restrict translation of the body in one direction only and rotation is allowed. So, it is very much similar to your simple support only what we have is roller. Okay. So, what does this support do? It does not permit you to go up and down. Okay. Vertical moment is restricted. So, when we use the word here translation it is either vertical or horizontal. Okay. So, when you have a roller support vertically you cannot fly. Okay. Roller support you cannot move vertically right means there is a restriction hence a reaction. But with the roller support you can move horizontally aram say right you can turn also. So, there is no restriction for horizontal motion or rotation hence no reactions in horizontal direction and no restrictions for moment. Moment is permitted and rotation is permitted, but what is not permitted? Vertical moment is not permitted. So, you will have reactions in vertical directions only. Now, one more thing you have to remember here is generally we do not have a beam with both side roller support okay, unless and until it is required okay, or it is a trolley or it is a carriageway where you want the section to move. If the beam is like this and if horizontal load is given as horizontal motion is permitted the beam will start moving. We do not want our structural member to move okay, unless and until the conditions are required. If you have seen a bridge structure okay, below the beams you will find this roller support because, because of the moment of the vehicles okay, it is permitted to move slightly. So, that the resistance becomes easier. Okay. There you will find this roller support used practically. So, what is a roller support? Again, it is a type of simple support only. Okay. It is a form of simple support which offers resistance only in which direction? Only in vertical direction. Okay. Horizontal direction permitted, rotation permitted. So, see here an example of a roller support. I have four rollers on which I have placed a surface. So, see this rolling moment is possible and this will move in the horizontal direction. This will not fly up. Okay, It will not move up with the roller supports. So, reaction is in vertical directions only. So, we have covered two types of support. First one is a simple support where just the support is kept. Okay supports are kept on which a object is kept that is it as simple as that. Next is the roller support where we have wheels type at the bottom of the support which permits the horizontal movement freely. Now, the best practical example for this roller support okay, you all must have seen this many of you must have used it. It is a skating board right. Skating board permits you to move horizontally. Skating board permits you to rotate also. Okay, but does it permit you to come up? No. Why? Roller supports offers resistance against vertical translation. Okay, so, this is an example for the roller support. Now, let us come up with the next type of support which is very important and most commonly used which is termed as a hinge support or a pinned support. Okay. So, hinge support or a pinned support these are the supports which exert reaction in any direction, but from our convenient point of view we resolve the reactions into two components. Therefore, in supports restrict translation in both the direction, but rotation is possible. Now, what does it mean? When you have a hinge support you cannot move horizontally nor move vertically translation is restricted in both the directions. So, if you see here you have a reaction R A X and R A Y. Why there are two reactions here and this will be the resultant of that reaction. Do not worry about R A as of now. Concentrate on R A X and R A Y. This type of support 
doesn't permit or it restricts horizontal movement as well as vertical movement okay it only permits rotation hmm. so in this support what happens is two reactions develop one horizontal and one vertical now when you were going through the previous supports in roller supports there was no horizontal reaction okay but whereas in hinge support you will get a horizontal reaction hinge only permits rotational movement it restricts horizontal movement as well as vertical motion okay you cannot move horizontally or vertically with a hinge support only what is possible is a rotation action with the hinge so this is the proper notation a triangle with a small circle okay but in the problems generally you feel can see only a triangle okay so this is the notation for your hinge support and one example i'll put up now if you have a plate attached to the hinge support what will happen plate cannot move horizontally plate cannot move vertically also what the plate can do it can move in rotational direction only okay you can move in rotational direction only see so here once again now what is happening to the plate it can only rotate means the hinge support permits only rotation you don't have any horizontal motion or vertical motion hence you'll get two reactions horizontal reaction and vertical reaction so let's check out the practical examples of hinge support both examples you have seen one is a door if you have not seen go to the door in your home and you'll see this okay this is called as a hinge now how does your door move does your door a regular door open goes up no does it move horizontally the door doesn't go up the door doesn't move horizontally how it moves in a curved path okay you can do a small uh, this workout you attach one chalk piece to the bottom of the door and open the door and close the door you will find a quarter circle developed okay that means the motion of the door is in a circular direction that is what is we called rotation rotation is permitted in hinge but vertical movement and horizontal movement that is motion in vertical direction and motion in horizontal direction is not permitted don't try to do open the door vertically or horizontally okay only the door can open in circular direction you do this and see at your home okay the next thing is this one this is a very nice example for the entry in many parks gardens we find this type of door where at a time only one person can move and it rotates okay if you go to the shivaji garden and all you'll find this okay maximum of the gardens have this type of entrance arrangement wherein at a time one person can move and this rotates okay the support doesn't move vertically also doesn't move horizontally also only what it does it rotates so this is which type of a support it is a hinge support so what is a hinge support it is that support which offers resistance in horizontal and vertical direction resistance means reaction in horizontal and vertical direction but what it does it permits the rotation or moment is permitted okay so these two are very common and nice examples okay which are representing a hinge support now let's come down to the last type of support which is very important from civil and structural engineering point of view it is a fixed support fixed support are those supports which resist both translations and rotation of the body fixed support develop an internal moment known as resisting moment to prevent rotation of the body also so fixed support means completely fixed resistance in all the directions that means you have a horizontal reaction you have a vertical reaction and you have a moment also so if you have a fixed support remember that moment is also a reaction which is a unknown in previous three supports that is simple support 
roller and hinge one more thing roller and hinge also are classified as a type of simple support only because all those permit rotation in all the three rotation is permitted but when you come to a fixed support fixed support is a rigid support nothing is permitted you cannot move horizontally you cannot move vertically you cannot rotate also okay so that is what is a fixed support fixed support is that support which offers resistance in all the directions now see here for example i have two plates in which i am going to attach a mirror now how will be the mirror placed or attached it will be fixed in those two black colored plates okay there is no mo moment vertical no motion permitted horizontal there is restriction for rotation also this is what is we called as a fixed support so when we take practical examples the beam column joints okay the beam column joints or the civil engineering joints which you find are generally your fixed supports okay do you see a beam and a column moving no okay those all are fixed supports they have resistance in all the three aspects that is no vertical motion no horizontal motion no rotational motion okay so now in today's class in detail we have studied types of supports we have four types of supports simple support then we have a hinge su roller support then is a hinged or a pinned support and last one is a fixed support okay so all the supports have different characteristics but first three are overall classified as simple supports only because they offer reactions in vertical direction hinge offers reaction in vertical as well as horizontal directions but all the three supports permit moment whereas the fourth type of the support is an fixed support wherein moment is not permitted neither translation in horizontal or vertical direction is given okay so it offers reaction in all the three ways so this is the typical example for it so let me summarize by taking all the supports what happens simple supports vertical reaction is there yes no horizontal reaction no rotation that is moment is not there roller support vertical reaction yes no horizontal reaction no moment hinge support there is a vertical reaction there is a vert horizontal reaction as well whereas rotation is not permitted and last one fixed support there is a horizontal vertical as well as rotational resistance hmm. so this is the summary for the types of supports which supports offer which type of reaction so friends in today's class we have discussed what is a support what is a support reaction then we came to the concept of the types of supports and finally we concluded with the reactions offered by the types of supports hope this lecture was pretty clear to you all if you have any doubts with it please come back to us at the earliest in next class we will come up with the important concept of types of beams and then types of loads thank you